as another point guard build. So basically, obviously launch my player build. Um, alright, so position point guard handed preference number preference. Alright, so this point guard you're gonna want to go with the finishing and the ball handling, the playmaking. Alright. Then you want the all agility pie chart, so this one right here. Okay, so what you want to gonna do? Close shot, driving layup, that, all that maxed out, and then put leave standing dunk, three point. Put that on 64 mid range. You need um, you need badges for this, so I reckon six badges should be good. Um, yep, obviously you're gonna wanna mat all this and you do want some defensive rebound. So you're gonna max out offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and steal. And if you still don't get any, you can take a little bit off um plant making. So take off um li get your pass accuracy down to eighty and your post moves to seventy yeah, take it down to um take it down to 65 cuz all right so you still can't get over 4 take off um post hook until you get 20 finishing badges skim it down right to the end all right so you're going to want 45 close post hooks so just one all right there we go Alright, take it off block actually, put it on lateral quickness. Yep. And then perimeter defense. There you go. So you have twenty finishing badges, you have six shooting badges, you have twenty playmaking, and you have nine defensive rebound. Body type, I'm gonna go compact. Um you're gonna gonna go six foot five. Weight, make it one ninety. Wingspan short as possible for that three point. Alright, then you're gonna want to go okay this is entirely up to you if you want to be breaking ankles and going crazy with the ball handles you're going to want to pick playmaking if you're going to be wanting hit hitting those step back um threes and all that shit you want to go shot creator takeover all right but the one i would tell you guys to go with is slashing takeover this is so overpowered you run in on a 99 glass when you lock down, you will be able to dunk on him. It is just so good. Sla okay, this is the description. Slashes receive extra boost to finishing at the rim in traffic and more effective gathers to get past uh, to get past the defenders. Defense. So basically, you're unstoppable when you go in for a dunk. Like it's just so good. You get or you automatically get elite contact dunks, but you know you or if you max out, yeah, you know what I mean. So slash and take over. You're built a slasher, right? You might be going, Oh, I thought you wanted to make a slashing playmaker. You you can this is pretty much the exact same build as a slashing playmaker, only that it, the only difference is that it has defensive um badges. That's the only difference. It has defensive badges. So that's why I, I reckon it's better because it has defensive badges. You can actually defend. You have quite a bit of you have maxed offensive rebound, max defensive rebound. You have all that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what badges to put on, and I'm just gonna say you have a 93 speed and 94 acceleration, so that's really good. You have a 90 standing uh, driving dunk, 91 driving layup, 91 ball handles, so it's really good. All right, with your finishing badges. Contact finisher, obviously, Hall of Fame. Giant Slayer, Hall of Fame. Pro Touch, Silver. Um, fancy Footwork, Silver. Slithery Finisher, Silver. Uh, you can honestly put Slithery Finisher on Hall of Fame. Relentless Finisher, sorry, on Bronze. And the last one, you could literally just go like that. And um, Pick and Roller. So those are your finishing badges right there go put them on if you and obviously if you're a legend it's going to be very overpowered you have 10 more badges all right so if you're shooting obviously gold quick draw um 
um, silver range extender and hot zone hunter on. You could uh, actually take range extender off and put that on and put dead eye on because you're not really going to be shooting those deep threes and all that. Playmaking, honestly, ankle breaker hall of fame. Dimer, um, silver, unpluckable goal, uh, silver, tight handle, silver, quick first step, hall of fame, hands for days, hall of fame. Um, and if you want to get takeover quickly, flasher pass, flashy passer on bronze, and then space creator on bronze. That's like step backs and all that shit. All right, defensive. You want clamps on that. Um, you want intimidator on that. You want probably that on. Yep. So, all right. I'll just go through the badges again. So those are your defensive and rebounding badges. So, so uh, gold clamps, gold intimidator, and gold pogo stick. And for your playmaking, you want. Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, um, Silver Dimer, Bronze Flashy Passer, Hall of Fame Handles for Days, um, Bronze Space Creator, um, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, um, Silver Unpluckable, um, Silver Tight Handles, and yep. For your shooting, you want Gold Quick Draw, um, Bronze Dead Eye, and Silver Hot Zone Hunter, and for your finishing, can, um, Hall of Fame Contact Finisher. Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. You could almost take put that on silver and put this on silver. Yeah. So I won't explain that to you guys. You can just watch that. This build is very overpowered. I have one myself, but mine's a slashing playmaker because I didn't put any um you know um defensive badges on. So and also the jump shot you're gonna want to go with is um jump shot thirty eight. And if you do choose jump shot 38, you can take your quick draw down and put it on hot zone hunter or dead eye like that. Cause silver quick draw on jump shot 38 is really good. So yep. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe.